What is going on guys welcome to your 24th Java game development tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be building a bunch of easy methods adding to our sprite class and we might even finish it so all of these you probably already know how to do but let's just go ahead and it's just just to get the properties of the sprite so we need a method to get the x position so just put public float get x it's not going to take any parameters and just return the x that we created up here now we need to do that for y to get the y positioning of it because you know get y positioning get y and return y so bam we just built two methods so now with these two methods we can get the x and y positioning that pretty much gives us the position on the screen where the spray is so it would be useful to set spray x position as well so let's go ahead and do that with public void set x and for the parameter we're going to pass in where we want to put it so just put flow x and put this objects x which is pretty much means this sprites x position is equal to the x that we passed in so now let's go ahead and set that y position and put set sprite y position set y flow y this y is equal to y looks good good to go so now we just need to do a couple more things and one thing we need to do is get the sprites and when i say sprite i pretty much just mean image it's just an image moving around your screen that's what programmers call a sprite so what we need to do is get the images width and height and you'll see why later on when we uh, run into calculating when it bumps into the screen you need to find its width and height so let's go ahead and get sprite width and how do we do this we do public int get width and in order to get the width of your sprite remember let's go ahead and make a return we our sprite is pretty much an object in a and remember this is because where do we put it in our constructor we set the sprite equal to an object a so whenever we tell a it's pretty much the image so a dot get image dot get height right there it's built-in method and for your image observer and get height just put null um, because we didn't learn about image observer we don't need to know it for now so when you got your sprite you have to get the image for some reason and then you get the height and this gives you a return value of pixels of how tall your image is so now let's just go ahead and copy this and get it for excuse me that was width and therefore that would have been bad so get width get width so now let's go ahead and do that for height height get height and get height just like that so let me make sure I didn't mess anything get width get width get width get height return image get height all right so now we have the sprites width in pixels and height in pixels and again like I said I'll show you guys later on with these two but now we only have to be able to get and set four more things so what did we work with already we got and set the positioning and we also got the height value we don't need to set it because I mean whenever we create our image that's already set for us the only thing we need to do is make get and set methods for the velocity so this is going to be real easy get so horizontal velocity close enough spelled right and what we need to do is public float get velocity of x because remember on your screen x goes left and right so that's horizontal so I could put get x velocity I mean but and we don't need any um, parameters because we're just getting something and return v x and what this means is return your velocity x so how fast is going left or right so now let's go ahead and copy that 
And if I'm going to copy it, might as well spell it. Might as well spell it right, eh? So get horizontal velocity. Get vertical. Oh, really? I hate that stupid insert button. Vertical velocity. It takes me longer to write my comments than it actually does my code. Get velocity of y. Return velocity of y. So this gets your speed, how fast it's going left or right, and this gets your speed, how fast it's going up and down. So easy enough. And now, what if we want to change that? Well, set horizontal x. Actually, put hor horizontal velocity. That might get confusing. So now, if we want to change the speed of the x value, or excuse me, the x velocity, put public void set velocity good gotta make sure I spell it right spit an X and put float VX so now we're gonna pass it in a value which is gonna be like 0.4 or something and you're gonna put this objects velocity X value is equal to the value that we passed it in VX so again, whenever you put this VX, it refers to this right here. And whenever you put VX, it refers to this up here. So that's what the this keyword does pretty much. So set horizontal velocity, which is the X, and set vertical velocity, vertical velocity coming this fall. That's kind of cool things. And this would be the VY. This VY equals VY. Looks good. So now we do look we have get x to get its velocity left and right get y to get its speed up and down set its speed left and right set its speed up and down and the last thing we need to do is we need to build a method to get pretty much the sprites image and the sprite like is the image but I just uh, like my comments really descriptive so you can put get get sprite or image there we go that uh floats my boat a little better so public image since it's going to return an image just name it like get image or something like that and in order to do this let's go ahead and put return whatever object we're working on get image right like that and bam before you know it we are done with our sprite class. So now that I have time, let's go ahead and review this one more time. We had five variables, one for the animation, what picture did we want to use as it, um, the position and the speed of how fast we wanted to move around on the screen. We set, um, we gave it a picture to use. We changed the positioning of it um, using this little formula right here. And then we just made a bunch of get to get the positioning set when we want to change the positioning uh, this is to get the width of the image or the sprite this is to get the height of how tall the image is this is to get the speeds all that and this is the set the speeds both left and right and up and down and what this does is get the sprites image and didn't I already have that up there get height get width, get position, get position. Nope, I guess not. So with that, we are good to go. This is all the methods. That's all the information we need in our sprite class. So now we can um, use this information, information in our main method to actually make something move around. And it's only gonna take one more tutorial. Well, maybe two, I might be in line, but it is gonna be awesome. This is way cooler animation than the last one. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.